In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus came to serve. Our Lady of Zorro to Angela on June 8, 2021. This evening, Mother appeared as the Mother and Queen of all peoples. She was wearing a pink dress and was wrapped in a large blue-green mantle. Her head was crowned with twelve shining stars. She had her hands folded in prayer. In her hands was a long white holy rosary, as if made of light. Her feet were bare and were placed on the world. On it was the serpent that was shaking its tail hard, but Mother was holding it firmly with her right foot. May Jesus Christ be praised. Dear children, here I am once again here among you in my blessed woods, through the infinite mercy of God. Dearly beloved children, hard times await you. These are already the times of pain and trial. My children, this evening I again come here to ask for prayer for my beloved church. Pray much for the church, not only the universal church, but also for your local one. My children, in your church there are too many divisions, too many factions. God is love, God is unity. My children, when will you convert? When will you understand that it is important that each of you should be an unprofitable servant? Luke chapter 17 verse 10 Example One who is simply faithful to the word of God as is his duty. Jesus came to serve, not to be served, whereas many priests used the ministry in order to be served. Then Mother held out her hand to me and said, Come with me. I felt myself rising up and felt as if I was suspended together with her. Below me, it was as if there was a large sheet of glass. She indicated with her forefinger that I should watch. Look, daughter. I looked down on this large transparent plate where I began to see scenes of wars, various disgraceful events, scenes of violence and prostitution everything violent and evil. Then Mother said to me, Now, come with me. I found myself in St. Peter's Square, on the large pavis. A Eucharistic celebration was underway. On the right side were sitting bishops and cardinals. On the left, priests and many different religious orders. The Mass was being celebrated and presided over by Pope Francis. At one point, a great lightning bolt illuminated the whole square and was about to strike the crucifix. But in spite of the fact that very tall flames had been created, the crucifix was not damaged. The ground began to shake strongly and a big crack appeared in front of the altar. Everything continued to shake. Many bishops, priests, and the other orders that were present there got down on their knees, some of them face down, while others remained standing, impassive. The Pope went to the crucifix and kissed its foot. At this point, Mother spread out her large mantle and covered everything. Gradually, the earth closed again. She began to speak again. Children, do not fear. The forces of evil will not prevail and in the end my Immaculate Heart will triumph. Dearly beloved children, be living flames. Do not extinguish your faith, and pray that the true magisterium of the Church would not be lost. Children, these woods are my blessed woods. A small church will be built here, and then a large church. Please, may there be no divisions among you, but rather be united. Then I prayed with Mother for the Church, and finally I asked her to bless all those who had commended themselves to my prayers. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join others and pray the Rosary in English or Spanish for your parish and all your diocesan priests on Zoom. The link to the schedule is in the video description.